So Gunnar, many congratulations on your election as chair of Wind Europe. Thank you very much, thank you. Tell us, what are your priorities for the next 18 months? Well, look, if you look at wind, I think we have seen a marvelous story in the past. We have, uh, we have built an industry that is, um, that is now building the cheapest form of new capacity in, uh, in Europe. That has created thousands of jobs and, and also has um, sort of built up a sustainable industry with uh, quite a few um, global um, players and, and um, uh, companies, big and small, delivering services to wind. When it comes to the upcoming 18 months, I think the first big milestone is the, the European election now coming mm -hmm. up. And uh, with that election, I think we're going to see quite a few new faces also here in Brussels. Mm and new faces that uh, perhaps haven't heard so much about wind yet. Mm. Uh, so I think the, the biggest task will be now to, to talk to those people and tell them about the story that we have uh, already been able to, to uh, bring forward, mm. but then also uh, educate them on, on what's coming next from our perspective. And I'm, my talks will be centered around the socioeconomic benefits of wind mm. in the past and in the future. It's about the system costs, so how can we further drive down the, the cost in a bit of a wider perspective. And third thing, for sure, is, will be sustainability. So, so those three topics, I think, will be the ones that I will center around my, my talks with politicians and, mm. and uh, policymakers here in Brussels and in the other countries. Great, good. And what can you personally bring to the position of chair of Wind Europe? Well, I think, first of all, it's, it's uh, 20 years of experience within the industry, within the utility business. Um, and as you know, the, the uh, utility business has gone through major changes. So also having that kind of experience, how to sort of to transform not only a company, but also entire industry. And I think that kind of transformation is something that we still have ahead of us with mm. the energy transition in Europe. Mm. So having that kind of experience and knowledge about um, what it takes to also sustainably transform um, in such a big context is something I will bring to the table. And then it's for sure passion. It's passion about um, the industry. It's passion about wind and conviction. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's, it's, uh, I'm convinced that we need to change as a, as a, as a society towards a, a more sort of climate friendly environment. Um, and and I, I believe, truly believe that uh, we have to, to pay a duty to our kids and our grandchildren to actually uh, get something more sustainable for them as well. Yeah, great. Vattenfall, of course, has been a leading member of Wind Europe for many years now. Why is Wind Europe so important to Vattenfall? Well, I think, first of all, Wind Europe is the voice of the wind industry in Europe. Um, and despite other lobby groups, I think Wind Europe has a bit of a, a different approach to, to uh, how to address politicians here in, in Brussels and in the, in the uh, EU countries by proactively addressing topics, questions that politicians have, and then drill down to find, a, to at least propose a, a, a possible answer to them. I think a good example is the, the, the study that you, we have done last year, Breaking New Grounds, mm -hmm. where we proactively sort of put up a topic that is of interest to politicians and also come forward with a, with a possible solution, how to tackle that. Somebody said that Wind Europe has basically shifted the side. We're not sitting on the other side of the table of politicians, but just next to them, mm -hmm. helping them with their, with their issues and, and, uh, and, and sort of providing them with, with, uh, with competence and answers. Mm -hmm. That to me is very important and it, it, it adds credibility to the whole setup of Wind Europe and that's why we as, as Vattenfall believe it's important. Great. And you're optimistic about the outlook for wind in Europe, are you? I'm very optimistic about the outlook for wind, Europe, uh, for, for wind in Europe and for wind Europe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, well, if you look at the fundamentals, uh, as I said, we are going through, through a dramatic change um, in, the, in the energy landscape, phasing out conventional electricity with a growing demand of electricity through ele electrification. So the replacement will be renewables and wind, both onshore and offshore, will play a very important role in that. So mm -hmm. fundamentally, there's, there's a big basis for that. However, I think we have some challenges mm -hmm. to explain to people what, um, what wind is about and how we actually contribute not only to the energy sector, but also in a, in a wider scope to society. Mm. There is more work to be done. Mm. But, um, but with the team that we have within Wind Europe, with all our members, I think mm -hmm. we have a great basis yep. to really drive that issue forward and resolve it uh, over the next uh, couple of uh, months and years. Yeah, great. Well, listen, thank you very much for taking on the role. Good luck to you. Thank all you. The very best. Thank you. I'm very excited about it. I'm looking forward to work with you and with all the members together to drive wind forward.